Hello. Oh my gosh. Welcome to today's video. It has been crazy. Basically, my toddler is at my mom's house sick right now. I think she's get, gotten better today, but we had a rough night last night. Um, I had vlogged yesterday, and by the time I got to my grandma's house, it was like clear that my daughter was getting sick, like out of nowhere. And like they were places yesterday and everything that I love. It's like, it makes me feel bad and guilty. And my mom feels the same way that like you're exposing people to a sickness, even though it's not like a bad sickness or anything. We think she's getting over it, but like she had no symptoms. But by the time I got there, it was like clear she was getting sick. And within like the first 20 minutes that I was there, I'm like, oh my gosh, she has a fever and she's sick. So anyway, we stayed the night at my mom's last night. My husband is on a job, so I'm not gonna be posting this for a few days for whenever he gets home. But here's what I've noticed. My daughter, like, no, my daughter doesn't get sick every time my husband leaves, but like, every time my daughter gets sick, my husband is not here, every time. So anyway, so we stayed the night at my mom's last night. So yeah, like I said, this will get posted in a few days when he's home. And then he's going to be on for a while. So, uh, anyway, so uh, it's just been a crazy week, a crazy week. And today is a work day for me, but I'm actually getting ready to leave and be done probably for the whole day. Um, pretty significant storms are rolling into our area and, um, I have the baby with me. I don't like driving in significant storms like that. And it might be a little bit different if my daughter wasn't sick, but first of all, she's sick, so I hate leaving her anyway. And second of all, like, I don't want her, even though she's with my mom and she feels like safe and comfortable, like, I just want us to be together if a bad storm is coming in and she's sick and if she gets scared or anything like that, like, I wanna make sure I'm there. That is why I work the job that I work. I'm gonna be the one that suffers a smaller paycheck because the last couple of days, basically every day this week I've been short on time which is a huge bummer and but like I said I'm gonna be the one that suffers with a smaller paycheck and if there's any way that like my husband gets home early and I can make it home, make it up like later this week I'll try to make up a couple hours but I'm not confident that that's going to happen so you're just gonna have weeks like this this is just how it's going to happen so um Right now, I'm getting ready to go back to my mom's for the rest of the day, and probably t we'll probably go ahead and stay the night um, because everything is set up there for my daughter from last night's chaos that everything was going on. Like we anyway, it's set up, so we're just gonna give it another good day, and then you know we may just come home tomorrow morning or something. So right now, what we're doing is switching purses. So I don't know if any other moms have this dilemma. I don't have a lot of time because that storm is gonna be coming in probably within the next half hour. So I don't know if any other moms deal with this, but I certainly do. Whenever my toddler was a baby, I remember wanting to carry a certain type of purse for a reason. And then within that purse, I wanted to carry this wallet. This is a very old, outdated wallet, but it, it holds everything I don't think let's see it, like you know what I mean it hold it holds everything so I'm not here for style functionality is where it's at so uh, I wanted to carry a certain kind of purse so that I could carry this wallet which is you know pretty good size wallet but the reason that this is that I wanted to do this also is because when I just needed my purse I could have my purse I could use my purse and this could be in there but when I'm traveling with the baby, when my toddler was a baby or a baby now a toddler, whenever I need the diaper bag, I can remove this from my purse that I no longer really need and put this in the diaper bag. Once my daughter got to like a certain age and we didn't necessarily like need the diaper bag anymore for like certain types of errands, I went to like a, a sling back purse, like it was like a crossbody, and it's just like, I just, it's like a little backpack thing. So I went to that. I've been carrying that for like two years now almost. And now I've found myself back in the stage of infancy, which is funny because my mom just bought me a replacement um, backpack like that. But it's okay because we're gonna get back to that in a few months. But we've been on the go a lot lately. And the other day I was going somewhere and I knew I needed a purse. 
because I wanted to take more than just my wallet. And so I grabbed this purse, just quick, threw it in there. It worked because I was going somewhere childless. Anyway, I was going somewhere with no children. So everything just got thrown in here. And then I've been like limping this along ever since. And it's so silly because I'm grabbing my purse and trying to take it places with just my wallet, checkbook, and a couple little like beauty items or whatever that I'm taking. This is ridiculous trying to like deal with this. So now I've emptied that purse and I'm moving into this purse because like where I'm at right now is I'm getting ready to go over to my mom's, right? So I need to take things to her house right now. I have a bag of stuff there from last night already. So most of my stuff is already there, but I have some like little trinkety things and stuff. I'm gonna make some homemade soup or maybe chicken and rice with some veggies or something. I haven't decided what I'm making for like me and my daughter, my mom probably won't eat that. But you know, just to kind of like nurse her back to health. So I'm trying to like, I'm like, so I need a purse with straps that goes over a coat that I can throw more than just like what I'm going to be, like I'll be putting food and everything else in this. And then once all the food and everything is out of here, then whenever I am packing to come back here, I can literally just throw this whole bag in my bag and then I don't have to deal with all that back and forth. So that my life is just kind of all over the place right now, if I'm honest. And I can't see very well, so I don't know where I'm even looking at on the screen because I, it's a glasses day, but I just wasn't in the mood to be in glasses in a video again. So um, I got into my last purse that I had and I threw like the beauty products or like, I. I say like personal products that were in there that didn't like make it to this. So, like I have a compact, I have a Tide stick. And then out of that one that I was carrying, I have a lip gloss and then I'm an essential oil user. Um, and so these are little essential oils for the girls that I use. So I always have those on me. Um, and I have them in the diaper bag as well. Oh, this doesn't need to go in there. So these are gonna be my beauty products, okay. All right, so those are gonna go in there. So right now I have, oh no, that's kind of a lie. And then I have a mask for me, a mask for the toddler, which I need to get us some new masks. And then my key for work. I'm gonna throw those in here too. And then right now these, and this got like heavy for some reason. This is the contents right now of the purse that like I would carry as a purse. I have beauty products, I have checkbook, wallet, uh, masks, and my key for work. That's all that's in here. Okay, so there's like a ton of space that's not being used in there. I just checked the Get Upside app for uh, the gas that I got yesterday, and yeah, there's only one gas station in town that is, cooperates with that, and I that gas station freaks me out so bad I never even go over there. Uh, I have a razor at my mom's house, and I busted the head on it the other day, so I have like a couple of refills left. I'm gonna throw those in here to leave at her house for like, when stuff like this comes up, this is exactly why when you have a husband that travels and you have kids and you're back and forth with your parents, different stuff, like I just have to like think things out and I want to be prepared at all times. Does that make sense? So that being said, also, I'm going to throw my eye drops in there because I am like dealing with this stuff still. I really feel like it's mostly like better. That's why every now and then I'll go ahead and wear my contacts. But I've, I've had a whole issue with trying to get my eyes seen about. And so right now I have like one pair of contacts left. So I don't want to like, I just wear them when I really feel like I need to or want to wear them right now. So that's where I'm at. So now we're going to pack a few other things in my purse to take to my mom's. First of all, I'm going to throw this notebook in there because I if I have some downtime this afternoon or this evening, when everything's chill, if everything becomes chill for any amount of time, I can do some planning. I had uh, touched on the topic of doing some food preservation stuff. And this way I'll be able to kind of write down some dry planning that I have. Like I'm getting ready to get Mylar bags. And honestly, um, <laughs> those should be in today, which I always feel guilty. If I'm getting a shipment on a day where we're gonna have bad weather, I always feel so bad. So they're gonna be here later so I probably need to come here later this afternoon and get those things, uh, but that way I can do some planning. Okay, now I had bought some stuff for my mom's house for the other night just to have there, different things for my daughter that she'll eat, and then I actually picked up a top salad. 
so that I knew this is, was going to be a crazy week. I just didn't expect it to be this crazy. And I thought, well, I could have dinner with mom and I left a chopped salad there. And then last night, whenever I was going shopping and all that, and then I was going to go over to my grandma's house because I was going to, I don't remember if I put that in that vlog, but anyway, I was going to do ear candles on her, which I did. Um, so I picked up a rotisserie chicken to eat, which I didn't know my grandma had already made dinner. So I have a whole rotisserie chicken. So that being said, that's why I say I'm either going to make homemade chicken noodle soup or I'll do like a chicken and rice like meal with veggies in it and stuff like that. But then we'll also have the chopped salad tied tonight. Me and my mom will because she will want that. She won't want like the soup probably or like she just doesn't. She just won't. So I have some turkey that needs used up. So I'm going to take that. This is my little uh, reusable bag. My daughter loves cream cheese. So like maybe on some bread or something with her stuff, like if she'll eat that. Really at this point, whatever she'll eat. I'm gonna take like a few carrots because the I'm not gonna make anything huge. And I'm gonna take some cauliflower because I need to use that up and then that would be good in there. And then also an onion because all good dishes start with an onion, even though I don't actually like eating onion, but if you cook it down enough, like I don't mind it, the flavor actually works really well. But then also you can slice an onion or potato and you can put it in your child or your own sock if you're sick and it will draw, like, draw the stuff out. And then I'm also gonna take a banana for her. That looks like that's a bad spot on there, but I can cut that off. Anyway, I'm gonna take a banana for her for in the morning if she wants it or tonight or just if she wants a banana. I have some. So I'm gonna take them. So here's my little food bag, even though I have some food over there already. So this is my food bag of more supplies that I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna stick this in here so that I can be prepared for her. And that's my, that's my bag. Now I need to take my old purse upstairs and put it away. And then I probably need to get the trash together. The baby's asleep. That's what I always hate. I try to consolidate everything where it's easier to carry the baby and what I need. So like I can carry the baby in this purse, but I, I need to get the trash out. And I don't want to leave her in here to take the trash out. These are the struggles. These are the struggles, okay? Struggles. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this purse switch out video. That's really all it was going to be, but there's just more of my life in it um, of explaining why I'm putting what I'm putting in my purse. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.